Hello everyone and welcome back to my FlossTube channel. Um, if you've not been here before, my name is Sammy and if you have been here before then welcome back. I'm getting excited because it's almost Christmas, it's the 18th of December uh, so we've got a week to go. This is going to be my last FlossTube I think of the year. Um, I'm probably going to do a kit parade, maybe early January depending on how all the festive activities and family activities go. You know what it's like when you've got a kid, you get pulled to every family member's house. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes, but I think this is definitely going to be the last one of the year. Um, I've got quite a few things to show you. Um, I've worked on a few projects, but then also I've got some new starts, lots of haul, I've got some plans, I've got giveaway news, and then some projects that I'm going to be working on next year that I want to share with you. Um, I've got a really like full desk. I'm surrounded by all the things. Um, so I'm just trying to make some space. Um, I just want to start by saying thank you to everybody that um, joined since I did my whip parade um, if you've not seen it you definitely need to check it out I've got my lovely stitching bestie Andrea on with me we had so much fun it was really really good um, and I'm hoping that we're gonna do another one and um, we both bought the pole stitches box um, I can't remember which one it is, but it's due out in sort of mid-January, so I think we're going to do a box opening um, for that, which will be so much fun. Um, it's always a lot nicer when you're talking with somebody else rather than um, just talking to a camera. <laughs> so yeah, that'll, that'll be fun. Um, I'm just going to get straight into the whips, I think, and then we'll see how it goes. Um, so my first one um, has not been out in a while so this is Lo and Behold and this is Long Dog Sampler um, I've not done too much I just spent one day on this and this was for a stitching challenge I worked on this section here so you can start to see I think it's a rabbit but it might be a squirrel with a tail I'm not sure um, but you can start seeing that come through um, I do enjoy working on this one. It's just one that never, never calls to me to pull it out. Um, so, so far on, oh, so far since the last video, I just spent one day and this is on 25 count Lagana in the colour Bone by Zweigart. And I, I loved this crocodile. I loved doing this, but my God, it was some stitching. Definitely some stitching. <laughs> um, so that's that one. The next one I worked on is my favourite, and I think it's a favourite of a lot of yours, is Mini Witching Hour, which is by Lisa Parker. It's a Heaven and Earth Designs. It's the mini version, so I think it's about 78,000 stitches in total. Um, you can see how it's coming together. I worked on the candlestick and uh, the the books down at the bottom. So I started filling some more of this section in and some down here as well. Um, I did the stitching where you just get a, a strand out and you work on it until that's done and then you just move on to another colour. Um, this I spent one day on and I did 688 stitches um, and this is done in 10 stitch. So you can see how that's coming along. Oh, and this will be done next year. I've, I've set myself a bit of a challenge where I can't start another one in the category until I finished it, which my categories are, so there's the smalls, which is anything that is, say, 30 by, 30 by 30 centimetres, I'm classing as a small, <laughs> um, but not full coverage, and then I've got full coverage projects, then I have the Chatelaine, Mirabilia, Bellas and then stitch alongs. So until I finish those, 
I won't be able to start anything else so if I want to do them they need to be started by the end of the year and then that's my rule for 2023 if I stick to it it will be a miracle <laughs> but that's what I'm going to try to do because like, I really want to get some full coverage finishes in 2023 I've got I think over 30 whips um, and I've never finished a full coverage so yeah I'm a bit disappointed with myself because I wanted that one to be finished in October and just all the things happened I did all the starts um, I did a lot of bag making and yeah I just I just didn't get around to it but 2023 is my year of finishes <laughs> um so one that will be finished by the end of the year i do not want to take this into 2023 because for me it is a christmas stitch that is the reindeer by cottage garden samplings um i love working on this one it is so incredibly beautiful it's an easy stitch it's a lot of block stitching this one was a lot of stitching <laughs> um but yeah it's it's looking great i love it on the fabric so this is 28 count um supernova opalescent by kate at sparklies and we got this at the knitting and stitching show um and i've not seen anybody else work on a dark fabric on this one uh, but i liked it because i thought it was just going to be very christmassy a bit like santa's reindeer flying through the sky um yeah i think it's gonna look really good so i've just got his antlers to finish off which is i'm saying just but you know they are big antlers um there's a little cottage here a tree here and then like a little um plant down here and then that is it so i'm thinking two or three days of stitching and that one will be done and then it'll be ready to put it away because christmas will be over <laughs> um but that's gonna be a lovely finish when it's done i'm not quite sure how i'm gonna finish it so i'd love some ideas if any of you have worked on these um i know somebody doing like the full um like four together um but yeah i'm not sure what to do i don't think i really want to frame it i want to do something a little bit different maybe a hanging or i don't know something that i can have out just for christmas i don't know we'll, we'll see i'll i'll have a i'll have to have a troll through um instagram and see what i can find but yeah i'm, I'm really enjoying that one um, so the next one is my first ever Bella Fili Filipina that I've been working on um, and this has had five days since my last floss tube. Now it's on one of my purchases, um, so this is a bit of haul early. I bought my first ever scroll frame, um, so I went to... The Yorkshire Stitchers group and we were talking about scroll frames and the lovely Tracy who's been at um, the Floss Friends retreats as well she said try the Albessi ones because they're super super cheap and she finds that they work great and she's got a lot of her big Chatelaine projects on them and they're £16 so I was like oh my god I expected to pay like £100 for a scroll frame I didn't expect anything from it I thought it was going to be super cheap and crappy but it works really really well um and i've had a couple of nights stitching with it and i've really enjoyed it um so this is where she is now i'll put a picture up of what she should look like so i've done quite a bit on her dress i started doing her skin i don't know if you can see it up here this is a hand coming in at the bottom of her arm this is done one over one but the rest is done two over two this is 28 count celebration of roses uh, by pole stitches and it's an opalescent fabric and you'll be able to see just there my little agonist needle minder for christmas and i managed to get the little turtle so i'm super super happy <coughs> so yeah it's not easy to show though <laughs> But yeah, I'm really happy with how she's coming along. I've almost got a page finish. So yeah, and obviously this is pretty much full coverage. So there's quite a lot in there. I've only put a couple of the beads in. Um, but all the way through here, there's all beads for the flowers. Um, so yeah, she's going to look fabulous. I can't wait and look at that fabric. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. <coughs> so yeah. 
so that's all my whips um, and a bit of haul I've got one little finish that's not really cross stitch um, but it's crafty so I'm going to show it anyway so this was my little Christmas pillow that I finished I was I took this to the um, Yorkshire Stitchers Christmas day out to stitch on and um, it's a bar jello pattern so it's made with yarn I don't know if you'll be able to see um, it's on like tapestry canvas and then you just weave it through and then I finished it off as a little cushion don't look too closely at my finishing though because it's a bit pants um, so this was just a scrap of fabric that I have left from making the uh, cross stitch bags um, and then I just put this little white trim all the way around so yep yeah, I love that this if you want to buy this you can buy it as a kit from oh so beautiful I'll put that up somewhere here and um, they are on Instagram they've got their own shop and they're on not on the high street as well I actually saw this at the bottom of the um, sampler guild email I don't know if you're in the sampler guild but yeah check out their emails that they send through because there's always some kind of little advertising bits in there too so yeah so that's my little Christmas finish and it only took me two days to start that and fully finish it so that was quite nice quick project quick win I have two new starts um so just to get my categories in like we said um so if you've watched the um whip parade you will have already seen these but if you haven't then these will be new since my last boss tube so this is botanical garden this is a Nora Corbett pattern by Mirabilia um I saw this on Teresa Little Stitches um no bam retreat walk around and I was just straight away it called to me and I'm not usually a flowery girly person but there's just something about her face in this one that I really lo love she reminds me a bit of, um, I don't know, like a really posh lady with, you know, I, I don't know, like a historical figure or something, but I just really like her face. She's very pretty and the flowers are gorgeous, obviously. So <laughs> you might be a bit freaked out with what I've stitched so far. I decided I wanted to get in the face and I'm doing the, the face um the same as everything else i'm not doing one over one i'm doing two over two for the face um and i just wanted to get an idea of what the sizing was going to be like and um, so i've got this great big huge piece of fabric um but yeah i wanted to see <laughs> what she was going to look like but i've not stitched the eyes or the mouth yet so don't be too freaked out <laughs> so here she is we can see it's coming together so I'd already worked on this bit and then the other night I started working on her face um, so I just need to put her like blush bits in here eyes and then lips and then her face is done which is quite exciting I've only spent two days on this so I think it's looking quite good for two days um, yeah really really like her and I think it's going to look lovely on this fabric. So this is 32 count opalescent. And this was one from Sparklers. This was one of their fabrics of the month. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on here. It's very subtle compared to some of the others. Um, so yeah. Love it. And I don't think you can tell. But this is all crinic up here. So that's got a bit of a sparkle to it as well. So I think she's going to come along fairly quickly. She's not got that many beads actually, which is good for me. Um, my final whip, again you will have seen on the whip parade, it's my first ever Chatelaine. So here we go. Now let me fold this over so you can see it a little bit better. So it's one of the minis. Um, this is mini 5 if you wanted to have a look. I did change a bit of the colour. Um, I didn't like the colour that was for like the, I want to say it's like the hedgerows of like a maze. Um, that's what I think it looks like anyway. So I wanted it to be a little bit more green. Um, I've put two of the th two of the four trees in and started on this. I've got no speciality threads that have come yet. They've 
I ordered them from 123 Stitch in November and they've been sat in London since the 9th of December and they've still not arrived as yet so I assume they're going through customs or something like that. We know that the post is all crazy at the moment. Um, so because I was waiting for some of the speciality threads, I started doing just a little bit of the beading. Um, so I did some of the beadings in these squares and then up here as well. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. You can see some of the beads coming in. But yeah, that's pretty much as big as that's gonna be. So it's teeny tiny. Um, and I would say for anybody like me that was scared of doing a Chatelaine, um, definitely give these a try. Um, all in, I'd say it cost me about bleh, maybe 50 to 60 pound to kit it all up, um, which compared to the others is not a lot at all. So yeah. There's my Chatelaine. <laughs> and I just love it. Straight away, you can see the sparkle. It's going to come along very quickly. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned, um, but when this is done, my next one is going to be Swan Lake by Chatelaine. And I'm expecting that to take me a long, long time to finish. Um, but I wanted to make sure I could do the specialty, sti uh, the, yeah, the specialty stitches, um, and do the beading before I kitted up something that was so big um, but I've already put my order in through Zarina at Hawkins Hobbies and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can pick that up in May when I go to the Bella Retreat hopefully it should all be there ready by then so that's very exciting um, the other thing that I think I have mentioned before is that I've been exploring the world of quilting. I have joined a like mystery stitch along but for quilting um, you know, and I've not written the name down. It's like a murder mystery quilting group. Um, so every month you will get a chapter telling you about the characters and what is happening um, and you get a portion of the pattern to be working on and you have to make a guess each month of who you think the murderer is and there's prizes to be won and all things like that. So I'm really excited about my first ever quilting project. Um, I wanted to do it as a part of a group so I could keep motivated. Um, Andrea signed up as well. I'm glad I've been able to enable somebody else. So when we're both struggling, we can just get our sewing machines together and, and you know, help each other out. Um, but that starts in January. So I'm so excited about that. She's given us like a cover sheet with all the... Um, colors that we would need so the colors of the fabrics and the amount we need but you can choose whatever pattern you want so it doesn't matter whether it's plain or floral polka dot whether it's got an image on whatever you want and then at the end obviously it'll all come together it's all the same pattern but it's been individualized by you because you've chosen the fabrics that call to you so yeah i'm 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 really excited about that and i like it when there is a bit of a story and a challenge to it as well so it is timed but you have portion to work on for the whole month so I don't think it's unachievable so yeah hopefully by next December I should have a finished quilt hopefully <laughs> Um, so in preparation for that, I started having a go at making just a cushion just to see how I got on with it. Now for all you quilters out there, please do not judge me because I had no real idea what I was doing. Um, I just did a square, like the little four by four squares, but I didn't actually have a template or anything to cut it out of. Since then I've realized the error of my ways. Um, but here it is, you can't really see, I'll move back a little bit. So it's all just little pieces of Christmas fabric that I had spare. Um, and this will be a 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter cushion when it's done. I just need to decide on some backing fabric and then put the um, like interfacing on just to bulk it out a little bit. Um, but I, I really like it. It was a lot of fun. I wish it was a little bit neater, but lesson learned. I know when I, where I went wrong and that was the whole point of doing it before 
uh, the challenge starts in January so yeah I'm excited to show you my journey on that as well as we go so I think that's all my whips and everything that I've worked on I've got a fair amount of haul as usual you know it's that time of year <laughs> um, so the first thing that I bought just going on from the quilts is this Tilda quilting book from Amazon I don't think it was very expensive maybe £10 or so um, I love the Tilda fabrics and I've actually ordered a Tilda fat quarter set ready to do my quilt with um, when it starts um, but this has got some gorgeous different patterns in it you can see on there they've got like all the little houses on some plums there's a cat one and a birdhouse um so hopefully i'll get around to doing that in the future i'll just show you this this, this gorgeous like teapot one which i think is very very cute um yeah it's just oh this is the cat one i'll show you the cat one um i love this one so yeah this is really really cute um so yeah hopefully i will be able to do something a little bit more challenging like that in the future but i just wanted to get a bit of an idea how you read the patterns and everything before i started so yay excited um so when i was at the yorkshire stitching day which was like our christmas party um one of the ladies had found a lot of discounted fabrics so i managed to pick up this huge piece of zweigart fabric it is 70 by 50, 32 count Amsterdam blue, and it was only eight pound. So absolute bargain. Um, and the next thing was a wonderful lady called Sue um, was a part of the Floss Friends Christmas card exchange. Um, I think I will have mentioned that we did that. Um, the Floss Friends group, for anybody that doesn't know, is our Facebook group that we organise our retreats through and we do some stitching events and it's just generally a place for people come to to feel welcomed and just to chat about their stitching. Um, and we did a Christmas card exchange and you didn't have to put a gift in. You could um, just do like a stitchy, you know, actually stitch a card or just put a standard Christmas card in. We didn't expect anything special. But a wonderful lady called Sue actually sent a, a big group of us vouchers for Patchwork Rabbit. And I was so overwhelmed. She sent me £25 to spend. Uh, which was incredible so I bought some patterns from there and um, so this was the first one sorry they're all still in the wrapping so this is um from cottage garden samplings and this is back basket full of love and I thought he is incredibly cute and then I got harvest keeper by Plum Street Samplers and I got some specialty thread and some needles to go with it and then I also got from Cottage Garden Samplings there is beauty in simplicity and I just really liked this little house coming out of the daisy and of course the bird is beautiful as well so they were my <laughs> little purchases from there so thank you very much Sue if you're watching this it was <laughs> greatly appreciated I got a little bit emotional actually when I opened it up because I couldn't believe that somebody would be so kind as to send a bunch of people a £25 voucher and she lives in Zimbabwe as well so the fact that she also stitched a Christmas card and posted that out to as well it must have cost her a fortune um so yeah thank you sue it was incredibly kind of you um <coughs> excuse me i've got a frog in my throat today um the other thing that i got was from ryan we went to chatsworth house yesterday to take lizzie to see santa um i don't know if you've ever heard of chatsworth or if you've been before it's a great big country house it's where they filmed um duchess the one with Kieran knightley in it is my favorite is like country place 
in the whole of the UK that I've ever visited. Um, I must have been there going on 50 times now. And at Christmas, it's just extra special. The lights and the decorations, it is wonderful. Um, and of course, we went through the shops, as you do. Um, so we got a couple of bits, um, but we saw um, a cross-stitch cross section, which I have never seen there before. Um, and I wasn't going to get it because it's it was expensive for what it is but Ryan bought it me for Christmas there was two options there was a Christmas one or a normal one and Ryan chose his favorite and it was the normal one so this is like a little sampler of the Chatsworth house it's um it's got all wild deer on the um, estate so they've got some deer in here um, they have the horse trials there and the flower show um, so yeah it was it's just this is the big fountain in the gardens. Um, I quite like the little banner across the top. It's very, very cute. I love it. Um, and this was done by River Drift Studio, which I've never heard of before. Um, but they've got quite a, a few patterns. If you go on their Instagram page, they've got quite a few. So this is going to be a start in the new year. Probably when I finish my reindeer, I'll do this one. Um, and I think it'll be a fairly quick stitch. There's a lot of white space there. Um, I won't stitch it on the aider it comes with. It comes with anchor threads as well, which I've never used anchor before. So that'll be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably do this on a nice even weave or linen. But yeah, lovely little Christmas gift from Ryan. So I was really happy with that. So I think that is my, oh no, one last thing of haul that I've bought. Um, and it is, it's quite comical really. I've been wanting to get an overlocker for the longest time. Um, obviously they're not cheap. The ones that I saw was about three, four hundred pound and I've already got a sewing machine. Um, and I, I've been mentioning it to Ryan for quite a long time. And then he saw that on the Amazon deals, they had um, discounts on sewing machines. Um, and he showed me the overlocker and it was down to 199. So I was like, oh my God, yes, get it, get it. So we ordered the overlocker and it came. It's been here now for about four days and it's still in the box. <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified of opening it just because I've I've talked to a couple of people and they've said that they're really difficult to use um, and they they have them and, and they can't use them so if any of you have any tips on how to use an overlocker please let me know um, and I will need to be brave enough and set it up and and give it a whirl at some point I'm just so scared <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was a huge purchase, which I don't usually splurge, uh, can't speak, splurge like that. Um, but you know, when you're going to save over a hundred pound and you know, you're going to get one anyway, it was worthwhile doing. So that is now just sat there and it keeps staring at me from the corner, <laughs> but I, I will, I will get that set up probably in between Christmas and new year when I've got a bit of time off work. So yeah. <laughs> that, that was a big spend so next I have got a little bit of plans for a new start that I'll go through with you so I'm going to put a picture up here of what I'm going to be starting on the 28th of December um, this is going to be my stitch along project for 2023 and this is Reaching Skyward by Modern Folk Embroidery. Um, of course I had to do a pattern from Jacob, um, especially because he's going to be attending the retreat. <laughs> I, I wanted to give him as much support and love as possible. Um, I do love the Fruits of Plenty one and I probably will do that in the future. Um, but this is the companion piece for it. Um, it's very wintery um, I did pre-order some fabric from Megan at Coffee Craft Fabrics and that is this one it looks very grey and that's what I thought it was but in person it's actually got almost like a green tinge to it um, so I can't decide on my fab on my uh, flosses yet I'm just gonna do it in DMC but I'm gonna do a floss 
toss that's what it's called isn't it lost my words i'm gonna do a floss toss and just see what i think works well on the fabric if you are in the floss friends group on um, the the pattern comes out on the 27th and um, on the 28th of december we will be doing an online start along where everybody who is starting it from that group can go on a web chat and we can start it together show what we're working what fabric we're going to be using what floss we're using and just generally give each other a bit of encouragement and it's nice to have something planned between christmas and new year with some stitchy friends i think that will be a lot of fun um i will share on my instagram when i decide what i'm gonna do i might even have a look at colors this afternoon um it's been niggling away at me for the last <laughs> couple of weeks um but yeah I was originally going to do blues, but then because it is that more greeny grey, I'm not sure whether it will look right. So I will give it give it a bit of thought and then decide. But if you're going to be stitching on it too, we would love for you to come and join us on that evening just so we can stitch it together. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and they usually go on a long, long time. I think the last one we did, we started at half seven and it was about half two in the morning when we finally came off um, just because we, we were having such a laugh. It was good. Um, so yeah, do come and join us. Um, oh, the next thing was my giveaway from my last video. So I said to you um, about my website is now up and running, so littleloops.co.uk. Um, there's a whole array of patterns available. I've only got digital patterns on at the moment. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit nasally. I think a cold is coming on. Um, so sorry if I sound a little bit funny. Um, but yeah, so the the patterns i've got on there there's a bunch of full coverage and then also smaller patterns as well um and i've added even more since the last video so do go and check it out it is appreciated um and i said i was going to give away a full coverage pattern and a small pattern so my full coverage pattern is going to Alison Burgoyne. So congratulations, do drop me an email with your choice. And the other one is Karen Calderbank. You have won the small pattern. So again, drop me an email and let me know which one you've chosen and I will email the digital patterns over to you. So thank you very much for everybody that entered. Um, just to let you know a few things that are coming up one of the amazing artists is has done a full range of harry potter themed full coverage designs for me uh, so they will be going on hopefully before january they are stunning and then there is also a beautiful mermaid pattern that's going on and a owl in like a wintry night sky so i'm working on them all at the moment they're not a quick thing to do and i have to make sure that i've got quite space around me because i really need to concentrate to make sure they are charted exactly how i want them to be um but they will be up by january and then i will be probably starting one more full coverage in january um because you have to do a Jan january new start don't you new year new start um i've just not decided which ones yet so when they're all up um i will decide i'll show them on instagram and then i'll tell everybody in my next video which one i decided to start um but thank you for everybody that's bought patterns so far um so everything that is on there is buddied up with a, a artist and they get some money and i get a bit of money out of that as well so it's a great support and um, so thank you very much the other thing that i am doing um i mentioned to you about the winter box that i did um, and it was incredibly successful everybody was super happy um and i got great feedback and um, so we're doing some more this time it's me and andrea that's doing it through the floss friends group um you don't have to be in the group to buy one um but that's where we're sharing all the updates so these come out in april and may so in april we've got a spring themed um 
box and that's going to be all around Easter and bunnies and all the cuteness that you have around Easter time um, so that one is um, very exciting and then the one that I'm most excited about in May is the magic school box um, and you have to choose your colour which is red blue yellow or green we all know what that refers to <laughs> um but that is coming out in may and i've already started putting that one together because i'm just too excited <laughs> um so if you do want to have any more information about it you can always drop me an email or you can have a look in the floss friends group and there's always updates coming on in there as well um so yeah two boxes available spring and the magic box so let me know if you are interested and i'm going to do one more giveaway just because it's christmas um i mentioned to you before about i've got it here um about the winter box and that andrea stitched up the pattern for me so this was the giveaway in the winter box and it's an adorable polar bear and a penguin putting the little stars on the tree and this is called decorate the tree so it's a pattern by myself and i did it with all the floss on the floss drops um, all with DMC I've got no fabric for it but I'm going to give the pattern and the DMC away um, so it will be physically per uh, sent to you but then also you can have the digital pattern um, that is compatible with Pattern Keeper as well um, so all you need to do is comment let's say tree in the comments and I will randomly select somebody in my next video in the new year to be able to send this to. It can be anywhere, UK, international, I don't mind. Um, but you do need to be over 18 because you will need to give me your email address and your um, mailing address as well. Um, and hopefully, whoever gets it will be really happy. So that's the pattern physical pattern digital pattern and the dmc floss to go with that um, and this won't be for sale until next year because this was the box exclusive but i just had one left over so i thought i might as well give it away and that is what it will look like when it's stitched up fab so i think that is all from me so have a wonderful Christmas and New Year if I don't speak to you before. Uh, do keep a check out on my Instagram because I am planning on doing all of the stitching. I'm doing no more bag orders or anything until the New Year. So I've got all the free stitchy time. I'm going to try and get as many finishes as I can. <laughs> um, and then I will see you in the New Year for our new start. So have a lovely one everyone with all your friends and family. Make the most of it and just have a lot of time to relax. Have a good time. Bye.